Air Breakfast remains a conversation on Twitter for a different reason. A tweet by U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Kyle McCarter, who attended that gathering. Under the hashtag Stop This Thieves, the diplomat wrote, and I quote, Leaders are praying and asking for forgiveness for the sin of thievery. End of quote. And it appears he may have touched the right button for many Kenyans on Twitter. Talk of selfies in one man appears to be a fan of them. U.S. Ambassador to Kenya, Karl Makata. As the country held the 17th prayer breakfast, the 6th under the Jubilee administration, the diplomat went easy on selfies, but not on his comments on corruption. Under the hashtag Stop This Thieves, he tweeted, Kenyan leaders are praying and asking for forgiveness for the scene of thievery at the 17th annual National Prayer Breakfast. What a good start to take the nation on the path to the prosperity the Wananchi deserve. We must all do our part. The replies were fast and furious. Jacob Okello saying career thieves praying at a five-star hotel. When they need our votes, they will take humble dilute tea and tasteless mandazi in a Mabati kiosk. To Ken Makombeta, that's what happens every year. And one to two months after the prayers, they continue tearing the country apart. To Akinia Bongo, thievery is part of the DNA in some of our leaders. We truly need divine intervention. Anthony Musembi poses a question. What has changed since the last prayer meeting? Things are going deeper south. Bukuru says the annual breakfast prayer gathering has been there for a decade now and the usual thieving club come, sing and go. But to some, the diplomats' comments were not diplomatic. Peterfield says, as an ambassador, you have a better choice of words to tackle the menace. You cannot afford to speak like a street politician. Ralph Mazer, an American citizen, says, I'm disappointed in your statement. I would hope for more useful analysis and engagement on this topic that is costing Kenyans dearly. To this one, Makata replies, Sir, this was a tweet, not a full position paper on dealing with thievery. The ambassador also replies to Munen Njue who asks, is it really thievery alone affecting our nation? What about jobs, economy, drought and cohesion? Makata says the things you mentioned can only be successfully dealt with without thievery. Makata has caused a storm on Twitter just two and a half months after he officially began his tenure. Before he was nominated for the diplomatic position, he served as a Republican member of the Illinois Senate from February 2009 to January this year. Kenya is familiar territory for the 57-year-old. The ambassador and his wife worked in Tarakanithi over 30 years ago, where they operated a Christian charity, Each One Feed One, catering for orphans and widows. One of their two sons was in fact born in Kenya. His harsh comments may be nothing out of diplomatic profile if some previous U.S. envoys are anything to go by. William Bellamy, who served during Mwai Kibaki's government, and Smith Hempstone, who was an ambassador during the Kanu era, were harsh critics and rubbed the government the wrong way. Kyle Makata's comments could slowly shape his profile as ambassador to Kenya, and he may not be a favorite for some in the Jubilee administration. Rita Tinina. KTN News.